In 90 seconds, I'm gonna teach you the basics of shutter speed, aperture, and ISO. Shutter speed, aperture, and ISO make up the three components of exposure known as the exposure triangle. But in addition to controlling exposure, each of these components also controls an artistic piece of your image. Shutter speed controls the length of time light is allowed into the camera, and a faster shutter speed equals less light, while a slower shutter speed is gonna be more light. But artistically, fast shutter speeds will also freeze motion, where a slower shutter speed is going to reveal motion. The aperture is essentially the pupil of the lens. Now wide open apertures, say at f1.4 to f2.8, they're gonna allow in more light, while smaller apertures, say from f7 to f11, allow in less light. But artistically, the aperture also controls depth of field. Wider apertures decrease depth of field, great for that cinematic shallow depth of field look, while smaller apertures increase the depth of field, resulting in sharp overall scenes, great for nature and cityscape imagery. Lastly, ISO is your way of digitally boosting light. So basically, if you lack light, you can increase the ISO to basically boost the signal arriving at a proper exposure. But artistically, increasing the ISO does reduce dynamic range. It increases noise, resulting in a loss of detail. This might be desired if you're attempting to create a filmic look to your images, but otherwise, shooting at the lowest native ISO is important to maximize color, dynamic range, and detail. To learn more, master manual mode, and so much more, check out Photography 101 and our gold standard education on SR Lounge Premium.